All right, well today we have Rob Reeves, Ashley Parsons, and Nicole Baker. And we're out at Castro Raceway, and we thought it might be a good idea to uh, to talk to Rob a little bit about the racetrack and what we have out here. So, Rob, how long have you owned the racetrack? So the racetrack, uh, we've owned it for 20 years now. So this is our 20th anniversary for Castle Raceway. And I understand, Rob, that you and your wife actually own the racetrack. What? How do you divide up your duties? Well, we we don't really divide them up. We can uh, we just do what we have to do with everybody. And uh, you know, in the peak times, we have 100 150 people here working. So everybody just kind of works in and helps out and we get her done. Uh, Wonderful. We got a really good office team that help do a lot of the organizing. So yeah, we're we're a well uh, oiled machine. Excellent. And and so what made you get involved in this? What made you get started? Well, I, I started racing, so I drove sprint cars um, for, for quite a few years and then um, decided that the racetrack became available, so um, the, the previous owner was giving it up. So I thought, well, someone's got to keep, someone's got to take the baton and run with it. So we did and we grew it from a little tiny track to five different venues, road course, drag strip, oval, motocross, drifting. You know, we pretty much do it all here at Castle Raceway. Excellent. And so I'm sure there's challenges. Um, can you tell me if you were to do it all over again, what would you, what would you do differently? Well, I, I would love to put a cover over this place to keep Mother Nature uh, from raining on us, but uh, that's not feasible. But, uh, you know, I think it's, we have a great facility, one of the best in the country. And, uh, you know, we're proud of what we do here. So I don't know if we change too much. If I could just change Mother Nature, I would be, uh, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> so with the vehicles that you have going down the track, what's probably the fastest that one would go down? Well, our, I believe our track record's uh, 300 and 20 miles an hour in, in uh, four seconds. So how fast will the girls actually be going down the track? Uh, the girls will probably go about 150 miles an hour, so over 200 kilometers an hour. Wow. So the two-seat dragster, it's a, it's an alcohol, blown alcohol car. It's, a, it's safe, but it's fast, and uh, that, they'll, they'll probably cruise at about that speed. Excellent. What? Um, so this is a family thing. There's lots of events out here that are meant for family and uh, some that maybe are not for kids, but uh, there's still a lot of events that you can have your kids out here as well, right? We do. I mean, it's a family friendly place. So, you know, we do uh, like the monster truck throwdown, big monster truck show. We do annihilation night. The kids love that where we burn and, and blow up cars and crush them and uh, we, you know we wreck everything on annihilation night so that's what it's all about we do that a couple times a year you know our monster truck show is probably the biggest hit for kids yeah. but you know hot august night with the jet cars and the rocky mountain nationals and there's lots for kids to do you know we've got a playground you know we've got you know we bring in jumpy castles we, we do a lot for all the kids excellent well i'm sure it's going to be a fun packed summer for that uh girls how do you feel about having to go down the track at 150 miles or or is it miles an hour yeah, miles an hour so miles an hour kilometers, 200 kilometers when you did the the uh yeah, because he said 150, and I thought, well, God, that's not too bad. You know, 150 is not bad. But now I start getting a little sweaty. Yeah, yeah getting. And the fact sweaty. that it's four seconds that makes yeah, a difference too, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I really hope that they get a good shot of my face. It's gonna be funny. And how about you, Nicole? Is this uh, it's a bit reassuring because uh, we're not driving? We're just along for the ride. But yeah, it'll definitely be fun. It should be good. Excellent. Casual. Yeah. Casual. So, so it, where would you rate this on the scariest thing that you've done so far? See, I'd have to see the car. It's too early. <laughs> yeah, it's too early. Because yeah. the bobsled kind of freaked me out because it felt kind of exposed. And the guy was very casual about it. And he sort of was like, come on, let's do this. Like, you know, and, and then it, all of a sudden we were being hurled down this track. So I found that uh, kind of terrifying. Uh, but some of the more organized stuff that we've done, like the sky room walk, like there's so much safety precaution. Right. That you, I channel my inner Nicole and just, just trust that these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So you're excited about doing this today, I imagine? Yeah, it should be fun. Good. And then tonight, what do you have? You have a party or something tonight at one yeah, of the locations? A driving force party at a, one of our drive force locations. Um, and it should be good. All the proceeds go towards the Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. This will be our fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth party, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So it's such a nice side angle to what we're doing uh, across in Canada that we get to sort of uh, meet the people at the Driving Force locations and then raise a bit of money for such a worthy cause, so it's good. 
Excellent. Well, we'll uh, get some pictures of you guys going down the racetrack. We'll hopefully have this GoPro attached to one of your heads when you're going down, and uh, and we'll get that posted with this as well. So good luck and have fun. And Rob, we look forward to spending some time out here. Um, we're we're gonna probably be out here all summer with you, so we look forward to it. Well, we're looking forward to supporting the driving force and all their efforts as well. So. Thank you very much. All right.